Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news and updates. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a quick little update on Marco, talking about his offseason. Also, talking about a free agent point guard for the Chicago Bulls. Say Lonzo Ball does continue to struggle with his knee injury and miss the start of the NBA season. Also, giving a quick little update on Io Dusumu's offseason and his offseason workouts. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below today's video. It takes a second and it helps me out a lot. And some comments and questions below today's video about all these updates and topics. Also, check out my last video if you guys missed it. I was talking about how a bunch of NBA insiders are expecting the Chicago Bulls to make a trade or a move in this upcoming NBA draft. But either way, let's just jump right into today's video because in today's video, I wanted to talk about the Chicago Bulls second round draft pick for from two years ago you know there hasn't been that much talk about marco i mean i know a lot of people have obviously compared him to the joker just because our tourist did draft the joker in the second round and his game is kind of close to the joker and all that you know i don't see the comparison between the two but either way marco he pretty much played this whole season for the g league the bulls kind of did call him up here and there but he really never played any consistent minutes with the bulls this whole situation with him has kind of just been confusing i mean i think it's obvious billy Donovan and the Bulls coaching staff never trusted him. I mean, even near the end of the season, that he really wasn't getting any minutes, or even in most blowout games, I felt like he didn't even play. I mean, to just do a little recap on, on Marco, he is a seven foot center. You know, he is 22 years old and he played really well in the G League. You know, he has very solid footwork, he's a solid passer, and he's just very smart. He has high IQ, that's why he was really good overseas. And on the season for the Windy City Bulls, he did finish the season averaging 17 points per game, 10 rebounds, and 3 assists while shooting 53% from the field and 82% from the free throw line. You know, he was the 44th overall pick back in the 2020 NBA draft. And I know there has been some talk on Twitter recently about some with some Bulls fans just kind of questioning what his future is with the Chicago Bulls. You know, there has been some pictures and some videos of him. And you, I think it's obvious you could see he's put on some weight and some muscle. And that was the main thing with Marco. You know, he definitely has all the skills and the tools to be a solid backup center in the NBA, in my opinion. I would really like him to get some minutes for the Chicago Bulls next season off the Bulls bench. I really like him as a stretch five if he could just continue to put on more weight and and muscle but either way speaking of marco and vooch i know there's been a lot of trade rumors surrounding vooch as of late but both of them will be playing overseas at the 2023 world cup so that's really cool that Vooch and Marco are both playing for that to get some team bonding down. You know, hopefully Vooch is taking, I'd say, Marco under his wing and just mentoring him and helping him out because I really like the Marco pick. Obviously, he is a project and he, he's currently still one. I would be really surprised if he does get consistent minutes this, this next season for the Bulls. It wouldn't surprise me if the Bulls did sign a backup center or maybe even draft one with their 18th overall draft pick. But either way, I just wanted to talk about Marco with the draft coming up and give a quick little update on him leave your thoughts and opinions below today's video about what the chicago bulls plan to do with marco in the near future but either way let's just jump right into the second topic in today's video you know i tend to touch on this topic to start the video but there's been a lot of rumors surrounding the whole lonzo ball knee injury situation obviously it's been months now and there has been a few updates i made videos about every so weeks giving a little update on him you know he was seen in the gym not too long ago and then lavar said he's going to be ready and then there's some i'd say rumors that came out about how the bulls front office is are really concerned and just they continue to get more concerned week by week that he might even miss some of the start of the regular season and that's a big issue obviously with Lonzo Ball and Zach Levine both needing knee surgery more than likely in this offseason I know Zach already had it I mean there has been some talk about how Lonzo is more than likely not going to need it but at the end of the day say he does miss some time to start the regular season the Chicago Bulls were interested in signing Goran Dragic when he did get bought out around the NBA trade deadline. It wouldn't surprise me if the Bulls did, I'd say, pursue him again in this offseason if the Lonzo Ball injury does continue to be a concern. You know, Goran Dragic, he, this whole season for him, honestly, was kind of a mess. And I don't know what really happened with him, but I have to guess he was dealing with knee injuries. I also saw some personal issues this season. But either way, he only played 22 games for this past season, and he, his minutes were all over the place. His shooting percentages were, his points, everything. His game was just all over the place this past season. 
And I'm going to be real, I don't believe Goran Dragic would be that much of a help. I mean, he is 36 years old now. He is a 6'3 point guard. Like I said, his minutes and play and numbers have been all over the place. But throughout his career, he's been a very solid starting and backup point guard. But I just don't see the Bulls targeting him. I'm going to be real. Honestly, I'd rather the Bulls just save their money because, you know, I could see Goran Dragic sign for probably a veteran's minimum deal. But I would rather see the Bulls say Lonzo continues to have problems. Just let Io Dusumer be the point guard to start this season. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video if the Bulls should target any point guards in this upcoming offseason with all the, I'd say, negative Lonzo Ball updates coming out. And speaking of Io Dusumu, you know, the next topic in today's video is about him. You know, he has been working out this offseason and an NBA insider did put out this tweet and he said there's been so many offseason rumors and points of interest for the Chicago Bulls. Obviously, with the draft coming up, Zach Levine being a free agent, Patrick Williams big summer and all their trade rumors surrounding him and Vooch and Rudy Gobert, Lonzo Ball's knee injury and a potential Kobe White trade. And obviously, that's a lot of topics that the Bulls do need to cover. Cover, but I feel like something that has been kind of lost in a lot of topics and rumors is Io Dusumu. You know, this is going to be his second year in the NBA, and he played like a seasoned vet as a rookie this past year, and he's only 22 years old, and I think it's obvious he was a steal of the last year's NBA draft. I still can't believe he fell all the way to the second round. He has so much potential in my opinion. You know, like I said, he was in the gym other day. He was working on his three-point shot and his ISO game and his handles. I'll make sure to throw up that video as I'm talking about him right now but either way i'm really excited for year two for io you know I, I know there's been a lot of videos and rumors and i recently put out a video talking about how the bulls are more than likely going to have to pick between io and kobe because the bulls simply just can't and i believe they shouldn't pay them both and i think it's the obvious choice i think io is going to be much cheaper than kobe and i believe io is already the more complete full and all-around better player than kobe white kobe white's very inconsistent i've talked about this in many videos Videos. I like Kobe White when he's on, when he's hot, you know, he's knocking down threes, driving the ball, being aggressive. But when he's not knocking down his shot, say he's struggling from the field, what else is he providing? You know, say Io's struggling on the offensive side of the basketball, he's still providing a lot on the other side of the basketball. You know, Io's a 6'4 point guard, a true point guard, which I believe Kobe is not. I believe it's obvious Io's the better player than Kobe. I believe he's going to be the more cheaper option and just a safer option. I believe this offseason and next year is going to be huge for Io, especially with him already in the gym and working out definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video talking about all the updates that i broke down thank you guys for all love on the channel and the past few videos thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one